Today I'm going to break down the effect I created for the music video Easy Does It by He The Prophet. So this is the clip I used for the music video. What I'm going to do here is duplicate the clip. And once I duplicate it, I'm going to replace in After Effects. When I'm in After Effects, what I'm going to do here is a simple rotoscope. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. There's multiple videos online about how to rotoscope. I'll link them in the description below. So I'm going to do a pretty rough rotoscope here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once the rotoscope's done, I'm just gonna mess with the feather a bit, and then I'm going to freeze that. So once that's done, we're gonna go back into Premiere, and we're gonna mess with the bottom layer clip. So what I did here is I went to color, and the main thing is I lowered the saturation. So you can mess with all the other settings after that, but basically have your background black and white. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add text. There's multiple ways of doing it. A way I like to do it is just make a black video and then replace it with After Effects. And then right when I get in there, I just delete the layer. But you're gonna go up to this text and just start typing whatever you want to be in your background. In the video, I had the text popping up as the music played. So what I'm gonna do is just space this apart just to simulate that. Once I do that, what I'm gonna do here is add a Gaussian blur to this. This just kind of has that ink like bleed type look to it that I like. Once that's done, this is kind of what it looks like now. What I'm gonna do here is play with a couple different texture assets that I've collected over the years. Um, if you guys want me to make some kind of pack with these or asset pack for you, uh, let me know down in the description. But I have this little grid kind of looking um, picture here. And so what I do is just scale it up and I mess around with the blending modes. By adding a couple other textures, you get this cool kind of look. Um, so I have this grid just showing up on the text there. This is another texture that I have. I like to do hard mix for this texture and then I'll lower the opacity and I'll just kind of have an ink bleeding like kind of look. You can mess around with a bunch of different textures. So after that, what I do is to add that paper look, um, I'm using my texture pack here. What you can do is just print this out and mess around with it. Um, but in the video, I started out using this texture here. So I changed the blending mode to screen right there and then I scaled that up. And then I kind of messed around with some of the colors here and I decided I want to go back to color dodge. So I did that, lowered the contrast and kind of got this look here. If you want to take it a step further like I did in the video, after that I did print it out and I made cut marks around the subject. If you're interested in how to do that, check out this video here. 